Well, his attorney has long claimed that Remy Gross Santos was not impaired, that there's no hard evidence that shows he was, and that the then 17 year old's decision to drive to graduation rehearsal when he knew he was tired was not a criminal action. Still, this is an emotional case. Two women seriously injured, and a young man whose future hangs in the balance. The prosecutor's first question for Karen Weinhold was whether her raspy voice sounded like that before the accident. No, I have a paralyzed vocal fold. I recently had surgery for an implant, but I don't think it's working very well. 70 year old Karen Weinhold was the state's final witness. She says the only thing she remembers the day that she and friend Lisa Beaudry were hit by Remy Gross Santos's car was getting up at 5 a.m. and making cookies. I came to in a hospital bed with tubes and buzzers and beeps and lights, and I had no idea where I was or how I got there. I later discovered that that was either seven or eight days after. She was hospitalized for 99 days. 61-year-old Lisa Beaudry for eight plus rehab for multiple fractures. My right leg was broken in five places, the tibia and fibula, and so as a result, what they do today is they put in a, a rod with many screws in your leg so that to, to keep it strong and to enable you to walk. The defense doesn't dispute the injuries and believes while this may be a civil case, it's not a criminal one. Lisa Beaudry admitted to pursuing a civil suit. After the state rested, the defense asked the judge to throw out the felony charges, saying it hadn't presented any evidence that Gross Santos was impaired that morning or that he'd consciously disregarded the danger of his sleepiness. But the judge disagreed. The fact that he was aware that he was uh, nodding off, that he had consumed alcohol, um, and that um, created a, a, a known risk that he could uh, injure somebody in this situation. And in fact, he did um, strike the two victims in this case. The courtroom was packed again today with support on both sides. Now, tomorrow, the jury will get instructions after closing arguments. They'll start deliberating probably in the afternoon. Live in Brentwood, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.